when I started, I was probably about eight. I've got an older brother and a younger brother, and I used to go down and watch them play football, and on the side, I'd be kicking a ball, trying to be like them. I was never seen without a ball. I was on my way to school with a ball. At lunchtime, at break time, I was with the ball, with the lads. I did get a bit of stick being the only girl in the lads' team, which to be expected. If a new player comes into the team, you're always fighting to, you know, get the recognition and for them to give you respect that you deserve. And it was the same for the boys, but even harder because I was a girl. It's, ah, they've got a girl on the team. But then that just inspired me to do better and train harder. And then once they seen your ability, they gave it a lot more respect. But I loved it, you know, I loved that they treated me like one of the lads. It was a big part of, you know, me becoming who I am. The attributes that I've got were learn from playing with the boys every day and getting knocked about. <laughs> I believed in my own ability and the people around me did and they gave me confidence in that. It was part of changing the perception and now girls can be a part of the lads team and no one says nothing about it. My main aim is to win something with England. You know, that's a big achievement, that's what every footballer wants to do. To win that gold medal would change the perception of women's football forever. It has done in Germany, it has done in the USA, and it definitely will in England because it's at that point where it just needs a little bit of success to tip it over the edge. It'll be recognised, appreciated, and more importantly, respected for who we are as people and as footballers. We're always fighting against the perception, but it's slowly changing, and it will change. I believe that. That's another fight that we need to win. I wouldn't have it any other way.